Good day, good day. Hello, hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. <laughs> well, I got something for you today, boy. I tell you, I rearranged the whole studio here and everything just to try to get this thing done. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still not working. I, I gotta work on the lights in here. I got a new uh, location here. Uh, long story short. And, uh, yeah, I got to work on lights. Uh, that's all there is to it. But anyway, so moving right along, we have got you uh, a treat for you today. Uh, here is my uh, case. Now, as you guys all know, I don't uh, like to uh, display my Land Rovers in carny cases. Uh, so I like to put them in, uh, in these uh, knick-knack shelves and stuff like that. So let, let me kind of just show you how that works. See, I... I just put it in, I put in a little bit more shells. I got a little, I don't know, stirring sticks and stuff like that. We're, we're going to talk about those later. So don't look at those. That that's not uh, what we're going to talk about today. What we're going to talk about today is the matchbox number 12 safari. Yes. So I got these buggers here and then, uh, I got, uh, I got, uh, a, a jammer. I got a jammer full. So we're going to take a look at those. Those there, yeah, jammer full. Probably could uh, pop the lid off of that so we can see those a little bit better. You know how that works. All right, let's just do that. Hopefully I don't break the the uh, hinges. So there we go. Now we can look at them a little bit better. All right, so uh, everybody and anybody that uh, collects Land Rovers has got one of these buggers. Uh, beautiful little casting. Uh, and, and uh, so beautiful that uh, Matchbox has uh, revisited them with a new, uh, what was it, 2018? 2017, they came out with the new one. And boy, that lighting is horrible. <laughs> Can't even look at this thing without, uh, you know. Uh, so let's zoom in here and take a look at one. Um, you know what? We're gonna take a look at a nicer one than that one. I got, I got one. Hold on here. We're gonna look at a nice one here. All right. So 1966 is when the Land Rover Safari came out, number 12, and this is a reason, a representation of a Series Two. Yes, the MNA449. Lean and tall. Now, this is not the first model that came out, uh, but it is the most common, I would say. Uh, blue, uh, black tires, and a black base. Let's take a look at the base real quick. Oh, let's turn it back around so you can see it. All right, made in England by Lesney. Matchbox Series number 12, Land Rover Safari. And this is just a regular black wall, black tired uh, edition. Uh, blue body on this one. Very nice details. Uh, I, I like the, the detail. I mean, it's got the door hinges on there. Um, we'll move around to the back. And uh, they have, uh, well, most of them are supposed to have a hitch on it. <laughs> some, some of them do and some of them don't. Let's take a look at one that does have a hitch. There you go. There's what the hitch looks like. Matchbox was uh, uh, big on hitches. They had trailers that they would sell and stuff like that. So uh, we've got it. Beautiful. Once again, look at all that detail on the back of these things. If you if you don't own one of these, you got to own one of these. Matter of fact, if you don't own one of these, comment down below and we'll hook you up with one. How about that? I got a few to spare. All right. And this one comes with, the, this would be the tan colored roof rack. They are not removable, although they do come off uh, in in play. But um, right hooker, white interior. Uh, it does. What is this? Eleven passenger, three, six, ten, eleven. I guess ten. I'm not really sure how they got eleven on there. Three across the front, three in the middle. That's six, two, four. Yeah, six and four. That's ten. Anyway, there you go, Ted Passenger. <laughs> We're going to move right along, yeah. 
So these debuted in the Matchbox line, 1 to 75. Uh, this was number 12. Uh, this came after the uh, the uh, Series 1 uh, uh, regular 88 wheelbase. So this is after a 109 wheelbase station wagon. And uh, so the first model that they, uh, the first one that came out, let's get back out here, was this green one. And I do happen to have a couple of green ones, uh, four or five, six, um, in various uh, conditions. Now, the green one is... Uh, 1965, six, well, 66 they came out, green with the brown luggage rack, white interior, uh, clear windows, black tires, uh, same kind of thing on the base, no real difference there. It's a one rivet construction, they, they tab in the back there for that. So this is what you would uh, want for, um, you know, uh, number one. This is This is it right here. There you go. And uh, very nice, very nice. All right, let's zoom out if I can remember how to do that. And um, then then came the blue one. Now 67, 68, 69. Uh, they, now they did have a blue one with the brown roof rack, which I do not have. And I'm not about to swipe uh, one from my other ones to put on there. I, I just don't do that. I could, uh, but yeah. I would be interested in buying one just so I could have one, you know, but uh, So there you go. So now 1970s um, You know they they came out with the super fast now they did supposedly put these gold ones uh, Was the next color and uh, they came with a tan in uh, tan roof racks and uh but yeah, then they then they went to the super fast, and uh, boy, there is like 47 variations of these cars. A lot of them are blue, um, but yeah, 47 different variations of these cars. Now I do happen to have uh, a variation of the super fast, and uh, as you guys all know, I go to uh, BAMCA. Uh, the Bay Area Matchbox Club Association, and I get my information from them. And uh, so this is a nice one. Uh, there's wheel variations. There's, you know, obviously roof rack variations. But the other variation, it has to do with the um, super fast. And uh, they call it long axles. And what's that? what that de denotes here is that uh, let's keep let's keep this uh, going here. <laughs> what that denotes is the um, the the super fast here. That barrel it doesn't come all the way to the end, as you see. It, it's short, and that would be the short version to that. And then they had. Uh, a long version and of course they didn't grab a long version. That's still the short version there Now isn't that something that's upside down and that's not upside down Wow, I don't know if that's another variation or not, but yeah, okay. We'll go with that Oh, that's not a long one either. Where is my long? Oh, I got only one. That's why I only have one long one and so here's a variation you see um, how that barrel for super fast with the axle is short and long so that is a, a different kind of variation there but other than that um, yeah it's just uh, pretty cool and I uh, think they, they do it on the back too it's the same on the front and the back but uh, yeah so I was kind of happy that I found that very that's all that's the only one that I have like that otherwise uh, yeah, there's uh, tons of other things. The only other thing that I found that was uh, kind of crazy, and uh, I really couldn't find um, anything to tell me about it, and I'm gonna zoom back out here just a little bit, and uh, we're gonna look at my uh, my carrying case here, the uh, the old jammer here, and um, 
I found I found it interesting that uh, um, what do I want to show you? Oh yeah, here on the front. If you can see on the front tip there uh, of the, uh, it's got a it's got an additional tab to it. I'm sorry, I'm way out of whack here. Well, this setup is <laughs> crazy, but you can see this uh, extra little tab there in the front is uh, kind of interesting. Now, I couldn't find anything on uh, BAMCA about uh, this interesting little tab. I, I they just didn't say anything about it, so I don't know. Uh, it's like half my collection has got them and half of them doesn't. Even the, the super fast has them, so... Yeah, just uh, it's just kind of neat. Um, there, like I say, I you know I don't know if there's any really kind of uh, specialty about that or or anything like that. If you guys know, please uh, comment down below and let me know what you think uh, about that. I don't know if those are earlier models, but like I say, 47 different varieties of this Land Rover Safari number 12. And uh, so it's kind of hard to keep track of them. I'm just going to show you what I have. And, and uh, you know, we're like I say, we're all kind of pretty, pretty, uh, you know, uh, familiar with these. You know, I and uh, it's just the different, uh, different things. I, you know, I sometimes I pen $10 because it's a beauty. And I got the cash. And it, what is this doing in here? Oh, you know why? Because I was going to convert one of our one of our Land Rovers into a Ghostbuster truck or someday. <laughs> that's what that's doing in there. Put the real riders on there. But that's just something else. That That's a whole other different story. So anyway, there you go. Uh, how many of these buggers do you have? Do you got quite a few? Uh, do, you, do you collect them? I, I buy them uh, if I can. I buy them left and right. Uh, as you can see, you know, I got quite a few. Um, one of the ones that I don't have uh, later on was a silver one. And uh, <laughs> I bought this off eBay. I got I, I didn't spend a lot of money, and I was kind of surprised that I got it because I got a silver one, and I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. I got a silver one. Well, the silver one is supposed to have a uh, tan roof rack or tan luggage rack, but then... Uh, I was looking at it, and I'm like, what kind of deal is that? Well, come to find out, it was a mock-up. So you got to be really careful when you buy this stuff off eBay and stuff. Somebody had drilled it out, put real rider wheels on it, and made it the rare, hard-to-find silver one. I'm okay with having it. Uh, it's kind of a placeholder, you know. I could have made one myself, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Lesson learned. <laughs> there you go. Um, one of the other ones I want to show you uh, is kind of neat. Uh, here. Look at this. Somebody has uh, put on there the Auto Club. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Neat little deco on there on this green one here. Yeah, I found it that way. There's another one here I want to show you, too. Oh yeah, this one here, and uh, is it this one here? I can't remember now. Oh, there's another one that's, uh, this is a real cool one. Uh, somebody had put their, <laughs> $5 I paid for that one. Yeah, look at that, the old star and bar up there, huh? How you like that, America? Yeah, get you some of that. <laughs> oh, look at that, we got a little, what is that, wolf, wolf tooth, hound's tooth on there? <laughs> Pretty neat, pretty neat. So there you go. I kind of like to, you know, collect that kind of stuff and just kind of leave it so, you know, you kind of got uh, what kids were doing back then and stuff like that. But that's a very nice, like, aircraft uh, decal on there. They, Yeah, they some are sacrificed that. Well, there you go, folks. That's going to be it for today. The Safari number 12, Land Rover Safari number 12 from... Uh, batch box make sure you like and subscribe as we get this into focus thanks for joining me today and as always slow traffic keep right 
and have a great Rover Day!